the first step in the plan to mounting the rear battery pack is making these metal parts that I can use to weld some sort of frame on and then bolt it into the rear seat belt hold downs. So I've already mostly made this one and then I'm working on the one for the other side uh, which doesn't have this like bump in the chassis and is a little bit different sized for whatever reason. Here's the in-progress part. I've also gone ahead and used layout fluid to try to make it a little cleaner. Alright, the bend could still use some work because the factory part that it mates up to is of course not really square or really even meant to be, but the fundamental shape is correct and the size is about right and the hole's in the right spot. So all I gotta do is hammer on it till it fits. Much hammering later, there it is. Sits right down in there, so when I weld to it, I can use it to secure the frame. As part of making the rear battery pack, I started by welding up a rectangular steel frame out of this 1x2 stuff. And that goes under the main tabs for two side-by-side -side pieces. So then the stack up is just the frame, then a steel plate, then a thermal plate, battery, thermal plate, battery, thermal plate, steel plate and I'll be running rods down the sides to go through all these holes and bolt it down into the rectangular frame. Uh, I just traced these holes onto here. These holes aren't great because the plastic is a little lumpy, but I just wanna make sure that whatever I do drill is roughly in the center. I'm gonna measure it out in a minute. So I'm gonna start by drilling this steel plate in all the different tabs, and then that way I can copy it over to everything else, the other three pla steel plates and the frame. So if anyone's ever wondered what the applications for geometry class are, here's one. So in order to get the center of these holes, there aren't really a lot of good spots to measure around here because it, it's changing thickness all the way through there and stuff. But what I do have for reference are these corners here, which I'm confident are cut square because they were cut by a CNC. So they should be perfectly perpendicular to this tab and I know that the hole I want to drill is right in the middle of those this way. So what I did was I put some layout fluid on here and over here and then used this divider set to the width here. It can be, it doesn't act, have to be at exact width, but I just figured it'd be a good start. And then from each corner, I scribed across where I thought the center line would be like so, standing up and stuff. Um, and then that gives me these two X's. And then when you connect the X with a straight edge like this steel ruler and a scribe, it puts a line that's exactly between and perpendicular to these two points. And then as for this way, uh, that was picked actually just by measurement from this, basically just the tip of this, wherever it sat on the line. So I've got the rivnuts nuts added to this support bracket for the rear batteries and kind of set it where it goes roughly. Um, so I'm limited by what you can't see, which is this corner here. If I have it like where it is now, the mounting bracket that's on the actual battery will hit the body of the car. 
so it's got to be a little bit back from here, but I'm putting it where it is right now so it kind of rests in a spot. Um, so now I need to figure out where I can connect it to for support. So obviously there's seatbelt mounts, which are kind of on the side here. I'd have to figure out some, some way to make the right angle for that. There's also these seatbelt mounts here, which are pretty much right below it, so that's a good option. As for the back, I'm not quite sure yet, uh, because all I really have are these, like these seat mounts, that seatbelt mount there, but getting those to connect to the frame will be tricky at best. Um, I could maybe find a way to tie it into this stiffening thing here, but I might have to drill some extra holes to get bolts in. Uh, there's also some welded stuff here that I could maybe run something towards. That's next on the list of stuff to figure out. Here's what I've got so far. So it's just a simple angle up top, and then I I have to put a compound angle at the bottom to make this work. Uh, but the only thing I have right now that can do that is an angle grinder. So it's not great, but I think it's close enough that I can just weld it, at least with the MIG. So I'll probably weld it up top here first and then put it in the car and tack it down there. All right, I've now basically got a table in the back of my car. And on that, I can put, hopefully, the rest of the four batteries. I haven't welded this end yet or anything. This is just tacked in up there so it sits. Uh, it doesn't wobble like this or anything. And I've got this piece under it still just to kind of mock up an idea for running that to the back there and then to on top of that member or that like cross brace thing since that is probably pretty sturdy. So that's where that's at at the end of today. All the parts for the rear battery pack have finally been uh, cut, welded, assembled, painted, all that. Just a couple coats of black rustoleum. This thing we had some trouble with because the I used the MIG welder for it because I was out of TIG gas, and that actually bent it out of shape. So we had to spend some time putting it in a hydraulic press to actually straighten it out. And then these pieces went pretty well. So now I can assemble them with the coolant plates over there and the last four battery modules into the rear battery pack. So here I have pretty much all the parts to assemble the rear battery pack. So on top of the frame, we, I've got two of the steel stiffening plates. I've got the cooling plates with their adapter block and some fittings. I've got something that doesn't leave a residue to clean off the surface of these plates with. I've got the thermal pad. I've got something to push the bubbles out from under the thermal pad. Uh, some rags to help clean these off. Threaded rods, which will go like that to hold everything in place. A hammer in case any parts need threatening. And that should be, and of course the batteries on the floor behind me. So I'll go into fast motion and start putting this together.
Okay, here it is put together. We're missing a few of the threaded rods, but that's not important right now. Uh, I had some issues with this cooling plate. Uh, one of the layers has shifted over a little bit, which made it tricky to get on here, but with a gentle persuasion, it went through. So this is what the rear battery pack is. Um, I was a little worried because the polarity of these batteries is not exactly what I wanted, but I think it'll work out. So my plan is to have the positive lead from the front pack come into this one. Then this will go sort of up here to a manual shutoff switch that I can reach from the driver's seat. And then it'll go to this terminal, which then this terminal to this terminal, this terminal to this terminal, and this terminal goes to the main contactor and then to the motor. Um, I was hoping that this one would be the other way around so that way I could connect these two straight up and have the uh, cable, the, the cables going in and out right next to each other. Uh, but I just, this is just how they're constructed and how I got them. And there's nothing I can do to flip them over like that. And that concludes this video. Next, we'll be manhandling it into the car with all of us carrying the 300 pounds or so, and maybe even starting to do some wiring. See you then.